many students that I run across as private pilots uh, that have trained with the Garmin often learn a couple of functions. They learn how to manipulate the communication and the VOR localizer frequency boxes over here. They also learn how to use the direct to function and they also learn how to use the uh, the nearest function. But outside of that, they really don't learn uh, to use much more of the Garmin 430. So today I'm going to talk about using the flight plan function, how you can, instead of flying direct to and then having to stop, re-enter direct to to go to the next one, you can simplify your life a great deal by simply using the flight plan button. So what I've got here on the sectional chart is an imaginary flight from Gallatin, Tennessee over to Livingston, Tennessee and then up to Glasgow, Kentucky and then returning to Mike 3-3. So it's a three-leg round-robin trip. And so the way we start doing this is first by pressing the flight plan button here on the bottom. Um, we have our first starting point the, at Mike 3-33 where we're going to start. We press to get our cursor here. You press the small knob to get the cursor into the field. And then we just simply use the small knob to select within that field our first waypoint, which is 8 alpha 3. So I'll scroll um, down, back down to 8. Alpha comes up already. And then back to 3. Livingston So what we want. So I press Enter. And then it shows that our first leg indeed will be Mike 33 Gallatin over to 8 Alpha 3. And then um, our cursor immediately, I mean, our, our box goes down to the next field, and then we begin to select Kilo, big knob to switch to the next space, Golf, and then Lima, Whiskey. All right, so Glasgow, Kentucky, enter. And then we want to put in our return to Mike 33. So we simply select again Mike 33. Okay, so we enter all this in. Okay, enter. And then um, we can scroll back up to the top. And we see here's our, it's our round robin trip, Mike 33 to Mike 33. We verify our waypoints again. And then we just simply press the flight plan button to return us to our map. And now what we see as we range out here is our three-leg trip. And we see that we're at Mike 33. And the active leg is going to show in magenta. The inactive legs will show in white. So this is indeed our next one. So what I'm going to do is this bottom part here simulates flight. So I'm just going to bump us up here and then give us an altitude of about 3,500 feet. And uh, we'll check the progress of the flight. Our active leg here between Mike 3-3 and Livingston. And so what we see here is we're crossing over um, this sort of bend in the river here with 1 Alpha 7, Jackson County, showing up uh, right under the... Uh, the course line here on the Garmin. So one of the things to recognize with the Garmin is that it will show you these other airports uh, in the vicinity of your travel. Um, and so uh, it's just a helpful way to mark your progress. Also, if you're have, keeping your sectional nearby to sort of verify your progress, you can double check it here um, with, the, uh, with the GPS. The magenta line kind of terminates here at our first waypoint, and the white line is now um, showing up very clearly here. So we're somewhere in this area within just a few miles of Livingston on our sectional chart. And as we get closer, I'm going to bump the speed up on our imaginary airplane just a little bit to move us along here. You can see the GPS gives us the, next, the turn to 324, which is the next um, leg of our trip. So the GPS actually detects the next, um, the turn that you need to make next and, and will tell you and instruct you to go ahead and make that turn. So we sort of clip the end of the triangle there a little bit, um, but that's just the GPS anticipating um, our arrival. And it's only within a, a mile or two of the airport. So that enables us to stay on 
course. And so we make our turn to the left to begin to intercept that next track. And in just a second, the uh, magenta line will switch to our 8 alpha 3 to Glasgow, Kentucky leg. There it goes. And it uh, so the GPS automatically detects our waypoint passage and automatically then begins to track um, the next leg of our flight. So now our waypoint is Glasgow and our dis uh, dire uh, direction to track um, is 324 a distance of 45 and a half miles or so. So that gives you an idea of how this will work and you can do this all the way around um, the entire triangle all the way on your entire three leg trip and the flight plan function uh, enables you to do this and you don't have to go back and enter another direct course followed by another direct course. So just a little helpful um, piece of information, a helpful function of the Garmin 430. Um, I'd welcome your comments and uh, I'd welcome to hear from you. My email is chris at myflightcoach.com. Until next time, everyone fly safe.